Estonia has indeed established itself as a sort of a, a front runner, but sooner or later, everyone will need to learn to accommodate with this revolution. Estonia has become emblematic uh, for digital transformation and a successful and actually sustainable uh, e-government infrastructure. Today's uh, presentations and uh, debate will focus on the government's use of big data. What are future developments for the use of small and big data in the public sector? What are drivers, what are barriers and what are problems? You actually said that we all gain power. Are you really sure about this? Is there no loser in this process? Well, I'm an optimist. <laughs> in Estonia, we've been building a digital government for a few reasons. One of them being that this is the way we see that we, as a government, can provide a much better service for our people, our companies. And um, we do keep building more. People like this a lot because exactly it makes their life better every day. Do you think that people value privacy less for the sake of gains in efficiency? Yeah, I see it every day. If you go to social media, you give all your or a lot of private data um, for a little value. And so it's the same game with publics. But in publics, you have regulations. It's a cost-benefit thing. So if we figure out a way to mitigate, to manage the risks, and we get enough value out of that, then basically, again, so it's, a, it's a choice to go forward. We have to invest a lot, and we do invest a lot into cybersecurity because the vulnerability theoretically is there. It's always a big fear, like uh, it's the beginning of fire. As I found out the first mankind, oh, we have fire and it's dangerous and let's stop it. And so it's the same discussion. It can be dangerous. And to me, you're quite right, it's, it's built on a premise of democracy, it's built on a premise of trust in the government. We don't stop lighting the candles on the Christmas tree because the, the tree might catch fire. <laughs>